It's a simple looking robotic arm, but it could change a life. This down the road could really be a viable option for individuals with little to no function. Bob Nelia takes the arm through its paces. A quadriplegic since an accident as a teenager, Bob is helping to guide UCF engineers who have developed the robotic arm system. Now sometimes this is slower than you would want, but if you can imagine someone that has no function below the level of shoulders, being only able to look at the Lucky Charms, but has no physical ability to grab the Lucky Charms, having it come to him a little slower than that you might be able to grab it and put it on the table I will bring this item is, to is a sacrifice they're willing to take. As spinal cord coordinator for Orlando Health, Bob recruited volunteers with varying levels of spinal cord damage to test the arm and tweak its capabilities for the team led by UCF assistant professor Amon Bahal. The needs that many patients specify is they want to, you know, scratch their head. It's just a simple thing as scratching your head. It's sometimes not possible for an individual with, uh, you know, with an injury, a spinal cord injury, for example. So can the robot physically interact with both the environment and the human being? Can it be safe? It can it be accurate? Get it in the area, click the, click the up button, it raises up a little bit. If you hold it up, it's going to raise up higher. A surprising finding is that most participants found the arm too easy. I am going to approach and grab the item for you. They prefer the manual mode, which requires them to think several steps ahead and either physically type in instructions or verbally direct the arm with a series of precise commands. I will bring this item to you now. They favored the manual mode even though they did not perform tasks as well with it. I just have to confirm that what the robot is going after is what I really want and it's going to ask me questions along the way. This helps you to plan out those motions. You know, this gives you feedback. This can do the whole thing for, for you. We are intending to take it to a place where, you know, it can be more interactive. Going to move to your left. Professor Bahal's initial research was funded with a grant from the National Science Foundation and through a pilot grant with the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. For UCF Reports, I'm Ed Hyland.